What's up guys, Dan Furlani here and welcome back to a new video. What do I talk about today? I'm gonna talk about a firmware update. I recently made a video where I showed you how to update the firmware of the Canon R6 to the latest version that was 1.8.0. I installed it in my camera and everything was fine. So then I made the video, I published it, and then while I was in the hospital, you know, in the meantime, something happened. My wife and I had a daughter. So my son Michael now has a sister. Anyways, while I was in the hospital, I kept receiving notifications of comments on the video about the firmware update. Most of the comments were like, when I click on the update on the Canon website, nothing happens, or it leads to a page with an error, okay? Then more comments like, the firmware update 1.8.0 doesn't appear anywhere in the website. Well, that's weird, I thought. Then I even got some comments from some of you guys saying that you successfully downloaded and installed the firmware update, but you were experiencing some problems, error number 70 or something. Anyways, when I went home, I was able to investigate and I tried to figure out what was going on. And I went to the Canon official website on the support section and the latest firmware update there was and still is at the time I'm making this video, the 1.7.0, kind of weird. Canon removed the firmware update. This firmware update wasn't supposed to give us anything special. And as some of you guys mentioned, it might have even caused some error in your camera. So we don't really need that specific update, that firmware update. If you haven't downloaded it yet, or if you downloaded it, but you haven't installed it in your camera, just don't do it, hold on until Canon will fix this thing. I don't know how, but probably they will come up with the new firmware update that I will download and install my camera and see if everything is fine. And then, only then, I will make a video about it to show you how to install it. If you're among the ones experiencing some errors after updating to the 1.8.0 firmware, well, don't worry about it. There is a solution. We can fix that very easily. I've done it in 10 minutes even less. But I tell you, I wasn't experiencing any problem with my camera, no issue at all. But I decided to make this video where I show you how to downgrade the firmware to the previous version, the 1.7.0, so that if you are experiencing some issues, you can fix that going back to the previous firmware. I'm gonna tell you how to do it right away. You're gonna need your Canon R6, Sure. and two SD cards. One with your new firmware update, the 1.8.0, the one that's causing you issues with your camera, and another SD card where you're going to download and put here the previous firmware update, the 1.7.0, that was working just fine. And according to Canon, right now, officially, it's the latest. So what do we do? As usual, we make sure there's nothing connected to the camera. No lens, no adapter, no microphone, nothing. We set it to P, priority, and do it. If Canon tells us to do it, I'm sure there is a very good reason for it. Things happen. Let's try to avoid them as much as we can. So set it to P, then put the first SD card with the latest firmware update, or that was supposed to be the latest, the 1.8.0 in one of the two slots of the, of the camera. Turn on the camera, go to the menu with the wrench on the tab where you find the name of the firmware, of the firmware installed. Click on it and be ready because you're gonna have to click OK and immediately after you're gonna have to open the door of the SD card and put in the other slot the SD card with the older firmware, the 1.7.0. So click OK, open the door, the SD cards, put the card with the older firmware inside, close it back, and magic. You can now select which of the two firmwares you want to install in your camera. So of course, now you can choose the previous one, the one that we know 100% is working. That screen, as usual, won't work. When we do this process, use the wheel to select it, to click OK, and we'll start. Be patient, of course, it goes without saying. Make sure you use a fully charged battery for this, because if the camera turns off during the process, you'll be in trouble. If the camera turns off because of lack of power, it might get damaged. 
So now don't touch anything, just be patient and wait. Alright, so what do you think about it? Leave a comment down below, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and check the links in the description to see all my gear stuff and things, my gear. And check the link to Epidemic Sound if you want one month of awesome music and great sound effects. One month for free. Alright, so in the end, what happened? The camera finished the process. You kind of get like a confirmation that you have installed the 1.7.0. You click OK, the camera restarts, then you turn it off, then back on. Go to check and now we made it we're back to the previous firmware 1.7.0 all right i hope this helped because if you were experiencing problems because you installed a firmware released by canon and then removed without saying anything like that because obviously there was something wrong with it well i really hope you you managed to fix this problem through this explanation, through this video. That's all I had to say for today, and I really hope it was useful to you. So don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh yeah!